What is up guys and welcome back to another exciting video. So today, yes, we're working on the Porsche again. If you guys seen the last video, we threw the motor in the car. Huge step. Honestly, I couldn't be more stoked on it. So what we have to do in this video is we have to modify the tranny brace, which you're about to see here in a second. Button some more. Huh? And just some button some things up that we have to do, so. The first clip was completely destroyed, so with that being said, let's just hop in to today's video. Now we have to tack weld it. Welder out, shout out to Dagno for the machine. <laughs> I missed it, he's welding with no <laughs> ground on it. Yeah, like that's what he wants, I think. A little tack job. He's gonna say, what did you do there? It fucking burnt my hair. I'm gonna take it out and bring it to Johnny. I think that's what he wanted. Ant talked to yeah. him, so he should be happy with that. All right, just got back from Johnny's. Johnny is good. So now we're gonna do probably grind that, make it like symmetrical on both sides and then clean these up right here from the MIG. It's kind of You weld it? Poo poo. Who welded that? I did. Me and Ant. I'm assuming that was your last weld and that was your first weld. This was our, this was the first weld. Yeah. This doesn't look bad actually. Thank you. Is it really you? Johnny. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you take it, that's why. This was you. That's MIG. Yeah. That was Ant. Oh, yeah. It'll work. Oh, that's good. Clean it up. Trim black. Clearly you did not clean it well for him. Oh, so, shit. Such a, no, it was such a dirty weld. Okay, all prepped. Ant grinded away Johnny's beautiful welds. Prepped it with some ass atone. And now, uh, probably just paint it purple. Or maybe just black. This thing in some black. And put it back in. But that's black, that's back to black, people. And then we gotta run the uh, clutch line, which Tyler does provide. Look at nice steel braided line with all the proper fittings on it and adapters. So we'll probably run the uh, shifting shifter cables. And like I said before, we have to take these axles out. So the manual axles are obviously a whole lot longer. Just doing little stuff, seeing what we need, seeing what we could do in preparation of taking the motor back out of the damn car. Well, we ran the shifter cables, as you can see. Rough mock-up here, people. Then we had to trim a little grommet, which we kind of did already. So now we can put the other tranny brace on so we can move that and then lower the car down. Hopefully the modifi modifications were correct. See, this is like where the original hole would be. So, and just ran the clutch line. Look, it goes up through there, master to the sleeve. Still utilizing the factory location of where the power steering line used to go. Now he's fucking with the AC, but that's not stuff you guys are probably interested in seeing. But Dagnell did just wire up something pretty interesting. It's called the air gurifier. Fresh air, little remote. Let me, see, let me see the remote. Was that an OEM option, right? This catalog? I, I guess the 13 one though is slightly different. It's on a switch, not a remote. This is for 33 and S14. Still cool as hell. I the need, remote's I clean. Need the remote. I'm fucking lazy. I don't want to press fucking the switch. So he's had to press a button. He's had it in here this whole time, but I finally wired it up. This is another rare. OEM option. You could put some Red Bulls in here. Okay. And then this this connects to a duct to the AC. So it's not like ice cold, but it'll know, yeah. keep it cool. I haven't tested it yet. Maybe a little thermostat in there. To see how cold it gets. I, I doubt it gets that cold. I don't know. Turn the Rockies blue or no way. Cup holder, right? That's yeah. what armrest. Cup holder. Here, 
fucked up. I need to find more shit, but... Rare shit? I can't find anything. You have all the, like, hitter pieces. mel has got all the good options. The sun, the rear window shade, this came in my black 13. He traded me a cool box for it. That's a good piece. Light up speakers. If you know, option stuff. It's like probably five grand in fucking stupid little options. Probably. But they're they're cool. And if you know, you know. These alone are fucking two grand. And this lights up, Sylvia. Just need some bronze TEs and you'll be good. Bronze TEs are workmeisters. Factory. Yeah. They were in that magazine, whatever the fuck. All right, so past couple of days, we've been trying to figure some stuff out with this, and it's a little bit of an obstacle, but it's all stuff that, you know, not an engine that belongs in the car, so obviously some modifications are going to be needed to make it all work. If you guys have a 996, 997, Chavis Performance, check it out. On his site, I will put the link down below. He sells basically everything that you've seen us install in the car minus a few things like the ac we really haven't touched base on too much yet because we're just not there and the engine will have to come out this is just a dry mock-up just to see like what we need to do to change anything and revise some things a few lines are definitely next obviously the accessories aren't on the water pump is off throttle body so we're gonna have to take this back out but we want to do as much as we could in here before we take it back out that way we know when it goes in for the final time we'll know what we need to do and what not to do but this is a huge step to see it in the car it looks really sick definitely a lot of time has went into getting it to this point and money but it's just money so it doesn't matter so the only thing that we need to do to like put it in the car and set it like in stone is a harness and fueling Harness and fueling. Yeah, probably. And a little, couple vacuums. And some cool Brake stuff. booster. We got to put the ECU in here still. But all in all, I would say it's a good success. And there's still a lot to do. I'm waiting for a package from Dishworks and then we could do stuff. But I pulled out the sending unit and stuff because I need to modify this. Tyler from Chavis Performance told me I have to cut this open. I know it sounds crazy, but fuel pump, I'm sorry, is in here. And then we're gonna take the DW pump and put it back in this little sphere type thing. So I don't have the pump yet, so I can't really do that, but it's pretty much all I'm waiting for on that. But Anthony brought me a little, little gift here. Yeah. No, they're not brand new kooky tails. Anthony just restored these ones. Look at that. Fresh coat of black. Trim black. Dag, now you can shave your face in this in this, <laughs> in this this gloss. Don't mind that little scratch there. I'm not even going to show that. He had a little mishap. It happens. What? It happens. <laughs> <laughs> they look good. From what they were, I'll pop a picture up. Old to now. What's Carter doing, Ant? Whose fat boot is that? Thank you, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what do you wow. What do you think of the motor in the car? Sick. Good progress. Yeah. Good stuff. We gotta just uh, dissect that, but we don't even have a fuel pump, like I said. Oh, so we're probably wow. not gonna do that. Yeah. That's a Dagnell job. You ever dissect one of those oh, Dagnell? Oh, <laughs> we'll probably go pay James a visit and see what he's doing, cause I can't do anything else on this as of now. Go see James people, shall we? It's not a far, it's not a far ride. Hi Carter. How are you? Okay. Wow, that's fancy. Yeah, thank you. I did you're it myself. rich, Carter. I am very far from rich you're, after building this. You're rich. <laughs> Everyone go you show own a Carter. Porsche. What? You're calling me rich? I'm broke. <laughs> I'm in severe credit card debt. How do you think I feel? This is a twenty thousand dollar motor swap and a fucking 
four thousand dollar show less than that yeah i was just gonna make it it sounds better <laughs> anthony <laughs> look at this what the no fuck? don't fuck with it i'm trying what to fuck oh with i'm that. sorry i'm no, sorry play. playboy something back who cares he's playing playboy yeah playboy love <laughs> Sorry, like? Did I mess that up, Carter? No, no, no. I don't even know what song this is. Well, Carter finished his IS 300 one JZ VBTI swap yesterday. And if you've seen it, I showed it before, but she's up and running. And now the struggle of getting all the bugs out of it begins, obviously, with any engine swap. But this is the perfect swap for this chassis. Got bucket seats, subwoofers. You're doing, you're doing good, Carter. What are we doing, James? Congratulations on getting Carter's car up and running. He really needed it. It was, it's good to see. It's good to see. Hopefully he doesn't. It'll be great. <laughs> what do you think of it, Anthony? It's good. Splendid. Yeah. Thanks, Carter. First time doing the swap. First time doing a swap. <laughs> yeah. I'm proud. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Bro, I hold that thought for one second. What the f are you doing? All right, I'll see you soon. I'm delaminating my. Bye 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 bye. What is that? That was always there. Yes. You knew it. Yeah. And you kept it. Well, because it's fucking annoying to clean it, but now I have nothing to do. I might as well do it now. I just got you a brand new toolbox that needs a restoration. Look, we found this in the trash, people. You can find some stuff. Is it worth saving? I don't know. But I'm sure Dagnell will find some use for it. Maybe under the his bench, you know? And if you guys want to send him some tools, he, he can use them. Yeah, because then it leaves this uh, goo goo on there. It's only a little. Luckily it didn't. I have the Google on that does work pretty good. All right, fellas, we're gonna have a little clam bake tonight. We gotta go to the store, get some burgers, clams. It's not much going on tonight, but we're still gonna have a time. I think it's gonna piss rain, but that's not gonna stop us from having a little barbecue at the shop. Even if we gotta put the grill inside, fuck it. Are we cooking something today? Yeah. Burgers? You're gonna have a movie night, I thought. Maybe not. Ant's gonna drive. You can come to the store if you want. Or you stay here. I don't you can come. Let's hear it. Whipple. That's a whipple there, people. Oh shit. The store. We're having a clam bake, people. Alright, we made it. Seafood department. Thank you, Al, for everything. You've been a great help. Two of those. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll take two, both of those. So good. You don't like seafood? No, they don't bite. Dude, I've had lobster. You know, I'm not a. Yeah, no, no seafood. No, I need. Yeah, I'll take both of those out. If you have them, if not, I don't want to inconvenience you. They're good. They're so yummy. They're delicious. No. Really? Yes. I'm a very picky. You don't want to come to seafood. I won't lie about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's so scrumptious. No. Okay. No. Yeah. No, you no. slurp them up raw. Just... No. <laughs> no. Why? No. So yummy. No, I got an iron gut. No one has an iron gut. I do. You're the man out. Thank you, Albert. All right, we're back from the store. It was a crazy experience at the store. The lady had me so confused. But we got the clams, washed the grill, and we're gonna grill a little bit here, you know? It's not fucking working. We wet it. Might have been a bad move. <laughs> I smell the fuel. I wish we had some lobster, because if you guys know me or don't know me, seafood is top tier. 
I would eat it every single day, to be honest. Now we have to fix the grill quick because it's not working all of a sudden. And then, uh, he sprayed it with the hose. I'll air it off. Our clams chucked here. We're gonna see who's brave enough. Dagnell, we went out to eat for his birthday. He had them and he, he fucked with them. Anthony, he's trying one. He just doesn't know it yet. Hell no, I'm not trying that. Why? I don't like this. Ant even said he would, and Ant's like, it's like eat. eating boogers. No, it's like nut, Anthony. No. You don't want to? What? I'm not eating nut. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's over there. I don't know. I haven't seen him in weeks, and he's not hanging out with us. So, Who? remember yeah, Brian? Brian, remember he used to do like the auto body stuff? Yeah, he went to the special one. Of course he's talking shit. He yeah. thinks he knows yeah, how to grow. One thing besides booze. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's dinner, kid. Yo, I'm not eating up that shit. All I can do is with the party snack for me. True, he was chirping me on the grill. He said, no, you gotta get a five burner. That's I got a plug. Good. I told him I got a grill plug. He don't know. And I didn't talk about Paul Wall. Tell him you're, about the Blackstone. I was gonna say, you're, you're a homeowner with no Blackstone. Just leave it at that, that. Okay, grill boy. You do right. eggs. They're hot by as fuck. They're probably so hot. Like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to answer it. Fuck. He wants, he wants steak and Fuck. shrimp. Give one to Anthony immediately. Careful, don't burn your mouth, Anthony. You were suck, whoever bought these. Michaela did. <laughs> they <laughs> suck. James. Oh, that's just French. How do you turn this down? It's too much. Okay, you put way too much of that shit on yeah. a burger. That doesn't go on a burger. Old bed. Well, it is assembly line right here, people. Come on. Built, we're building. Like, we build cars, mm -hmm. but we build skewers. We should have been chefs in yeah, another well, life. Yeah, well, Gordon's actually my uncle. I just showed up and had the cook. <laughs> they love to keep the grill open, boys. It's crazy. Please, open it. No, Dagnall's got to open it. He wants it closed. Come here. I'm not ready. This is what Santa's bringing all the bad kids. Hold on, the bun's got to fucking go in there. I'm not you got to put them on the top. She didn't eat, Dag, no, she didn't even toast the bun. Fucking ready. Sitting on the house and all that shit. How was the food tonight, Joe? Skewer was gasoline, I will say. High test. That's how the skewer tasted. American gourmet. We don't need no. We don't need no 12 burner here. You know what I'm saying? Apparently not. But that bun says you got some sort of burner going on. God damn. Brian's back from the Special Olympics. Would it see what we did when you were gone? I had, to, I had to shut off the video. You pissed me off too bad. It's not on. The starter. It was a, it was a joke. I said I stole Brian's starter. I didn't really steal it. It's in. Brian got an exhaust on his car, so he can't really be too mad about it. Brian. No, no, no. I do have to. I do have to say your cutting was. Precision. I know, but I gotta finish it. How am I gonna finish it now with this? Fucking the motor's gotta come back out. Okay, it's gotta come back uh, out. Cause I still wanna box it in and stuff. Well, no, I, I like I said in the video where I cut it, I did leave a little extra on both sides. I haven't decided if I wanna, you know what I mean? Not an issue. This oil pan looks huge down there. I hope I it's know. not close to the ground. Cause I did ask Tyler that. He said no one has blown it apart, but I will probably well, really, be no, the first look, one to do so. Look right ahead where yeah. the, the subframe brace is. You'll bash that first, so. Unless you're backing up to like a curb or something, you hey, might well, it tap it. if you do a wheelie. If you do a wheelie. <laughs> That'll be the wheelie bar. Awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I can't tell from the, the other side, but. No, it's, it's, it's in there. Doing a set of spark books is gonna suck, I'll tell you that. Stop doing that right now. <laughs> Brian's doing something to your car? Yeah, I can feel the car shaking, you know. What's he doing? Right, what are you doing? Testing. You need steel wool. Look at all this. No, that you need four double O. No, four zero. <laughs> zero, zero, zero. You could use double. The thing is, is zero. You don't like the toolbox I got you? Yeah, that thing. Fuck. Look at that, people. It's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. Chip, I got him. Such a good friend of DJ. 
brings me back that piece of shit. Look at those people. That's a good he gift. Ex he expects me to clean it, fix it. It's a nice it side it. project. A pile of shit. Carter, you, you want a toolbox? No, it's mine. Dude, Task Force is like a step below Matco. We got, we got a fucking it out there getting ready for the drag strip. Clutching up. Doing launches in the rain. Jip, maybe you should take it out. Take mine out. You could. Spin the block. The thing is, I don't, I don't want to spin. I don't want to spin the tire on the, the rim. You know. Yep. Hey, Jip's been drinking too. It's not good. But. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to show you. How to he ride needs it, three rim locks. For him to I would. Ride I wouldn't want to show you how to ride the bike. So. You need. You need to stop touching Dagnell's car, bro. You're gonna ruin. You're gonna burn through the paint. Or maybe keep touching it. Maybe wet sand it. If you just wet sand it yeah, and polish it, it'll. Wet sand it in is. Yeah, it might be a little whatever. too busy. A little too much for a wet sand. Give him a little compound. Look at many ideas, people. Look at many ideas. Right, so how was this? It's kind of like patina. How? I know what you did a little bit and then left my car dirty. Dirty. So, how was escargot at the Special Olympics? I didn't get escargot and I didn't go to the Special Olympics. He went to Paris and didn't have escargot, Dagnell. That's crazy. That is crazy. You don't I want to eat snails, bro? You don't want to eat snails? They're delicate. No, they're disgusting creatures. But I wish I saw Brian one, ate I it. saw a snail on the ground once. That's it's a, it's it's ate not it. the same. <laughs> Simolina, if you could give one piece of advice to the people at home, what would it be? Simolina, first of all, what the fuck is that? Second, he don't even <laughs> Like a Simolina. <laughs> Like the, shit, the shit that you put out, like down before you make. No, it's a bread. It's a piece of bread. It's not. It's the stuff you put down when you make dough for pizza. If you give one piece of advice to the people watching at home, Drip, what would it be? That's I'll... something Drew would say. That's. Tell him to get a real fucking job. Thanks, Dagno, for the alley <laughs> That's what you're gonna go with? Yeah, dude, I can't think of anything. Come on. Come on. One I thing of advice. One like piece that. of advice. You tip your bartenders? No. No, what the fuck? Life advice, Jip. You don't like tipping bartenders? Is the cooler half filled or half empty? Don't give them any ideas, oh, Jip. I got a good one. Let's hear it. Life's a garden, dig it. <laughs> Then he hit something. <laughs> CD out gone. <laughs> and I forgot to film an ender. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little barbecue at the shop, working on the Porsche. And we're probably going to have to pull the motor again soon, but it'll go right back in quicker than it came out. And we've done it once, so we'll get to figure out a better way a to mock the motor up versus just two pallets and manhandling it around. As soon as we get the fuel in, we pull the motor, we put the fuel stuff back on, we throw the harness on, and hopefully this thing should crank soon. So if you guys give me a thumbs up for today's video, I'd greatly appreciate that. We're gonna continue to uh, get this thing closer and closer, so definitely stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.